the uh, main driving force between the lyrics and the music is, I guess, kind of my uh, distaste with the current society that we're all stuck in, this, like, mass market consumerism. I just feel like an outcast in it. I don't feel like I fit in. I don't like working nine to five to get a bunch of money to buy a bunch of crap. You know, it's just not my thing. Um, I just write about trying to be more united and together. I feel like the way we're all living kind of alienates us and sets us apart. And uh, so write about the things I see, just things that upset me and just about trying to be positive and to do good things and change things. Just not to sit around wasting your time and saying, I wish I could have done that or I should have tried harder. I'm talking about going out and actually doing those things and making a difference. You know, I don't, you get one life, I'm not going to waste it just working for somebody and slaving away. I'd rather try to build my own thing and try to make it on my own and um, do something that you can remember so I'm not forgotten and just another number in a graveyard. Alright, lyrically as a band, I would say 99% of it would come from Brian. Um, he's pretty quick when it comes to stuff like that. He could come up with stuff uh, off the top of his head. Uh, but mostly interacting with each other. You know, me and Brian will be at a bar having a conversation and uh, a lyric will come from something I said or something we talked about. And uh, a lot of things we pull from is just what we see every day, like what we go through, you know? We all have jobs, you know? We all have families, you know? We're all trying to live a life on Long Island, you know? So that's pretty much what it is. That's where it comes from. Uh, to be honest, I don't really hate any particular type or genre of music. What I don't like is just bands that are uh, coming out and dressing up the part and just trying to do something to catch in and get a paycheck or be more popular or get more ass or whatever. That's not what I think. That just doesn't push anything forward. I mean, I'm not talking about people who are just trying to fit in or whatever. I'm talking about people who are blatantly jumping on to a trend to exploit it and to get somewhere with it, you know? Um, that, you know, it all turns out sounding exactly the same and boring to me. And, and good for them, if that's what they want to do with their careers. I'm not hating on them or anything, it's just not what I choose to listen to. I just don't find any inspiration in it, you know, it just bores the shit out of me. Um, all this, you know, mass market cookie cutter, carbon copy bullshit, it's just not what I'm really into. I mean, there's a lot of different musical tastes out there that I can definitely respect and that maybe I wouldn't personally enjoy listening to, but I could see, yo, that's cool. These guys are out there, they're putting their hearts through it, they're doing it, you know. Um, might not be what I want to rock out to in my car, but, you know, it's it's still good in this guy's place in society. I think what doesn't is just the fake bullshit. All right, the type of music I hate. Uh, well, I don't really hate any music in particular. Uh, I, I listen to a lot of different stuff. Um, I went to music school for a little while, so I got exposed to a lot of different weird stuff that I wouldn't normally listen to. Being in a band, you hear a lot of different stuff. Going on the road and touring the country, you hear a lot of different stuff. Stuff you would never be exposed to. Even living in New York, you know, you would never hear certain things. But I hate contrived music. Things that are like so well done and so well thought out. Like certain pop music would get to me in that respect, but yeah, mostly contrived music. And people who fake what they really are is really... What type of music do I hate? I fucking hate country music. I hate it. I hate everything about it. I hate Nashville. I hate Dolly Parton. I hate, I fucking hate it. And James Taylor makes me want to vomit.